As we already know by now, Fox and Sony's Marvel characters are all set to merge with the MCU by next year and Fox's last project with the X-Men was set to be Dark Phoenix. So folks, this past week Fox just released the first official trailer for the Dark Phoenix movie and which is the very last of the X-Men movies that they're making despite the release date for the said movie has been pushed back to June of next year from the initial confirmed 14th February. Anyways, folks, as the official trailer is up, another breakdown video from us is in order here. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. We start off the trailer with a flashback of Jean first coming in to Professor Charles Xavier's after she discovers her powers thinking he can make her normal again as the professor then assures her that there's nothing wrong with her that needs to be fixed. Also we can hear this is the end by the doors as the background music of the trailer which obviously signifies this being the last X-Men movie from Fox before X-Men characters get merged with Disney and the MCU. The professor then talks about how minds are very fragile as we cut to the current day Jean Grey with some recurring mental issues from the past trauma. We also see conversations between Mystique and the professor and judging by the conversation itself and the flashback of Jean killing her family when she was just a kid makes me think that Charles Xavier's definitely did something to make Jean forget about what she did. Maybe he got into her mind and manipulated the reality or maybe he deleted that part of her memory. Who knows. We then cut back to a shot of a green island somewhere and immediately see current day Jean Grey on it talking to Magneto about getting answers. Now my money is actually that island being the island of Genosha. For those of the fans who don't know, the island of Genosha is a homeland for mutants. But it looks like it's just starting to come together and it hasn't reached the final cool mutant party place as it's supposed to be. And by the way, Magneto looks like he's really confused about what to tell Jean. We know that he was with Charles when he started off the school for the mutants and he obviously knows what Charles had done to her or at least he has some ideas about it. But he seems hesitant to tell her what it was. Now here we see Jessica Chastain but we still don't know what character she'll be playing in the movie. But we do know that she'll be the main antagonist of the film. A lot of people are already speculating that she could be playing the gender switched version of Mr. Sinister from the comics making her Miss Sinister. It is possible because Mr. Sinister bent his gender to become Miss Sinister in the comics a few times as well. So it could be the case as she looks weird and less feminine than she generally does in movies but who knows nothing's been confirmed yet maybe I'm just reading into it too much. So anyways she talks about why Jean feels so out of place and I believe she's the one who's going to trigger Jean infusing with the evil dark phoenix in the end. We then cut to shots of the rest of the X-Men, Storm, Nightcrawler, Quicksilver and of course Cyclops as Dan Professor realizes that Jean is changing as does Magneto who also realizes that she didn't come to Genosha for answers, she's there for permission. Permission to do what or get what? That we'll have to wait for the movie to find out. We then see X-Men led by the hot, hunky Scott Summers and they all have their YOLO ass classic X-Men costume on from the comics as Jean Grey wrecks a few incoming cop cars. I think this is where Jean isn't fully infused with the Dark Phoenix yet but it definitely has started to take its toll on Jean's mind. We then see a military or SWAT team charging in some kind of a mission. I think it's on Genosha and Jean is then seen to completely destroy a military chopper. I think this is where she's at her worst. If you ask me, I think these military forces somehow hurt or killed one of the mutants which triggered Jean to go totally berserk. We then see Jean alone crying as we hear the voiceover from Professor X that she is in pain and she is enraged. So this shot of Jean crying has to be after her darker side hurt or killed one of the X-Men. Maybe it's Cyclops, maybe it's someone else. But I do think her giving into the dark side and hurting one of her closest friends is going to be one of the main plot points of this movie. She's done it in the animated series, in the comics and then in X-Men The Last Stand we've seen her come back as Dark Phoenix from the dead and kinda the first thing she did was killing Cyclops. Anyways, 
We then see shots of the beast and he seems to be sympathizing with Jean Grey, but he's definitely not seeing eye to eye with the Professor X here, as he seems to be fighting with him and then we even see him in his true blue beast form, standing with Magneto in a face off against the Professor. Xavier probably wants to manipulate Jean's mind even further, but I think this is where the X-Men will divide, half of them going against the Professor and his ways to control Jean. We then see more military people and a funeral as Jean says that she's right to be feared by everyone. This solidifies my point earlier that Jean will hurt or kill one of the X-Men or some mutant. And finally, the last two shots we see is of Jean Grey totally and completely infused with her dark side, embracing the Dark Phoenix. She has this weird, cool, sick, sadistic smile on her face as we end the trailer. So folks, that's where the trailer ended and this is where we end this video right here. Let us know if you liked the trailer and if we missed anything in the comment section below. Please leave a like and share it with all of your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our Facebook page for more related content. That being said, that's all from me for now ladies and gentlemen and I'll be seeing you all soon in the next video. Peace out.